Good morning, dear children. How are you? I hope you all are well. Today we are going to start our part three of exercise one point one, and the name of the topic is basic concept in geometry. We have completed question number one, question number two, question number three. Okay, and question number six already we have completed in the previous part. Now in this part we are going to do the question number four, question number five, and question number seven because question number six is already done. In Previous part. In that, your first question is here. Question number four. On a number line, point A, B, and C are such that distance AC is equal to ten, distance CB is equal to eight. Then find distance AB. And considering all the possibility, now you have to consider here all the possibilities. All the possibility means what? The sequence of this point may be different. So let us start with our all possibility. First, I am going to do case one. In case one, suppose point A, B, and C are. Such that A dash B dash C means the three points are collinear. Now, how we will get distance AC? We will get distance AC if we are going to add distance AB plus distance BC. So, distance AB plus distance BC. Now, seeing the question. AC is given in question. It is ten. So right here, ten is equal to distance AB. We have to find out here to write as it is because it is the missing part. And DC, uh, distance BC is given in your question. It is eight. So right here, eight. Now this is plus. On this side, it will become minus eight. It is equal to distance AB. So therefore, distance A B will come to. If nothing is given in question, always you have to write here units. Now this was all about case one. Miss your possibility number one. Now case two. Second possibility is that point. A, B, and C are such that A dash, C dash, B. Okay. Now I am going to take point C in between of A, point A, and point B. Now let us draw a diagram. First of all, it is point A. Second one is point B. Third one is point B. Similarly, here also you can just draw a diagram, which I forget to draw. Point A, point B, point C. Now, how I will get distance AB? I will get distance AB if I am going to add distance AC plus distance C. B. So distance AB is equal to C. Distance AC is given in question. It is ten. So write here ten. Distance CB is given in question. It is eight. So write down here eight. So therefore, distance AB will come ten plus eight is will come eighteen. Once again, you will write the unit because centimeter meter. Not anything is not given in the question. All we have to write here units. Now this was all about your second possibility. Now consider the third possibility. Case three. Point A, B, and C are such that. B dash A dash C. Now you can observe here. 
at the first case i have taken point b in between of other two point in second case i have taken here c in between of other two point now i am going to take point a in other in between of other two points now how is this diagram will be done b a c okay now one second how i will get distance bc i will get distance bc if i am going to add distance ba plus distance ac now distance bc is given in question it is 8 so write down here 8 distance ab we have to find out here and distance ac is already given in question it is 10 so write here 10 This is plus. On this side, it will become minus distance B A. So therefore, distance A B will come minus two. But distance cannot be negative. Okay. But distance can't be negative. so therefore point a is not between point a b and c point b and point c so this will be not your answer your answer will be one day either is may be two units or is may be 18 units So therefore, distance A B is equal to two units, or distance A B is equal to eighteen units. That will be your answer. Now your next question: Point X. Y Z are collinear such that distance x y is equal to seventy and distance y z is equal to eight. Now find out distance x z. Now in this case, nothing is expressed in the question about the possibility, but we will do this question exactly similar to question number four. See point. This is your case number one. Point x, y, z are such that x dash x dash y dash z means these three points are collinear. Let us draw a diagram here. This is your x, this is your y, and this is your z. Okay, now how I will get x z here? If I am going to add distance x y plus distance y z, distance x z we have to find out here. So write as it is. Distance x y is given in question. It is seventy, and y z is given in question. It is eight. So Distance x z will come twenty five units. This is your first possibility. Now case number two. Point x y z are such that x s z s y. Let us draw the diagram here. X dash x z y. Now, how I will get here x y? I will get distance x y when I will add here distance x z plus distance z y. How x y is equal to distance x z plus distance z y. X Y is given in question seventeen, so write down seventeen, and X Z 
you have to find out here so like as it is z by means y z it is given in question a write down here a this is plus on this side it will become minus so distance x z distance x z will come 17 minus 8 this will come 9 units and mind my dear student if third possibility you are going to take here again you will get your negative answer such as we have done in question number fourth third case so here will be only two possibility either your xz will come 25 units or xz will come 9 units so therefore distance xz is equal to 25 units or distance xz is equal to 9 units you can try case number 3 at a home because i have already done and in this case also your answer will be negative so i have not done here you can do at home now come to your question number 7 which figure is formed by three non collinear points suppose there are the three non collinear points okay and if you want to draw a figure with this collinear point then which figure you will get here suppose these are the three non collinear point okay and i am going to join all these point together this is your first line this is your second line and this is your third line so you can see here this figure you are obtaining here i think it is a figure of triangle let us give it name a b c so with the help of three non collinear point we get a figure of triangle so your answer will be triangle is formed with the help of three non collinear points so dear student here we have completed all the question of exercise number 1.1 okay so that was all about exercise 1.1 so we will meet in next video for that time okay bye thank you